Hello there, I am Shanko with my Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on the Eternity City. Pokemon Gym got the Forest Badge, we took on all the trainers in the gym, four trainers to be exact, and then plus Gardenia, the gym leader. And now we can use Cut outside of battle, so why not just use Cut right here, where Team Galactic thought it would be a great idea if they just planted a whole bunch of trees that could be cut down, or plantable trees that were cuttable, or can be cut down with, you know, just a single Pokemon move. That's definitely gonna stop kids from, or people from trying to get in their building, you know? That's just the, that's just the way to go, you know? I don't think there's a hidden item here, but, uh, gonna check. Yeah, I don't, yeah, nothing. Okay. So, it's, I think this is, a uh, yeah, TM46 Thief. It's not really that great of a TM. I guess it's good if you wanna, like, try to find hard skills off of love discs or something. But that's not really in this game. I mean, it's like in the Hone. The, like, it would be Sapphire and Emerald, really. But if, I don't know, like, you might want to steal a held, sp held item from a wild Pokemon if you, you can, if you predict that they actually have an item or try it. But sometimes they don't even have an item, so, like, it's, it doesn't really do much for you. Anyway, let's go in the building. Oh, Team Galactic's here. Yeah. Uh, Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Uh, isn't interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Huh. And if we talk to you, you just say something. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? That's kindly. Then kindly get off our property. Do, do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager? Okay. Let's just have a double battle, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's Jetta and, um,. Rows together, I guess you, say, you could say, because those are the two Pokemon up front. Um, we have gathered Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. What does the one say? Sorry, dearie. Uh, Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Okay, after that long battle, um, we're gonna just, I think one of these, yeah, he battles you. This Galactic Grunt battles you. Uh, our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. That was a fairly easy battle. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. And then this person, this Team Galactic Grunt, she battles you, I think. Or she does because the music started. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, and you just say, we're, con we're conducting research on new forms of energy. We want, to we want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon and use, its uh, use it as energy. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> I should say. 
Yeah. Oh, here's another Team Galactic run. I think you, this one's this battle's mandatory, but required, I should say. Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us and donate their Pokemon. No, I'm not doing that. You got it all wrong. I want to check the levels of my Pokemon real quick. Okay, so just a little lowest level, I should say. Yeah, ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Can you come to think of it? I don't even know what's going on. Interesting. You see, I don't know anything about it, but you're confused and don't know too. <laughs> okay, here's a scientist. I believe he was a Kadabra. So if you have any dark type moves, like for me, I have um, specifically Jetta. I want Jetta to use Pursuit because that's a dark type move and it's super effective. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It's it is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. That last battle, I put the regular trainer battle music um, because it was a regular trainer because of a scientist and had the same, which is regular battle theme for the trainer compared to like the Galactic Grunts and their theme, you know, for battling. Uh, I'm gonna heal up real quick because, uh, you know, Jetta almost fainted in the last battle, honestly. She, she survived by like 3 HP, so I'll be right back, guys. While I'm still here in the Eterna City um, Pokemon Center, I wanted to show this off. It was if you go down the steps after you beat the first gym badge. So this is long overdue, long overdue for me to show this. Um, if you go downstairs to the bottom floor of the Pokemon Center or any Pokemon Center, uh, you'll be greeted with this first time message or message if you're down here the first for the first time ever for your save file, I should say. She'll be uh, this nurse or this nurse or assistant will say, "Oh, hello." Right this way, please. And you talk to her. Oh, hello, hello. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Tila. I'm and I'm your guide f to the Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. First, I need to give you this. We get the Pal Pad, which is like uh, a t item we used to like register people's friend codes for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum at the time when you know the Wi-Fi was still. Uh, accessible and you could use the Wi-Fi on these games now Nintendo dropped the support for them and it's been like a good two or three years honestly I think maybe even longer but yeah that's what we used to register all the individual you know friend codes because the friend code back then had you had one friend code for like every single game basically that Wi-Fi I think that's how it went so yeah put in the key items pocket that is your pop out you may register your friends in it uh, once registered, you may link with uh, those friends over Nintendo, what, the Nintendo WFC, which is Wi-Fi connection, I'm guessing, to trade Pokemon Battle and so on. Would you like to know the registered friend? Underst I'm going to say understood, just because, you know, I just want to show you how to get the pop pad, I guess, but it's really, you can't really use it nowadays, so that's a bummer. I hope to see, I hope. You enjoy using the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. That's like irony right there. <laughs> anyway, let's cut back to the um, to the Eterna City uh, Team Galactic building. Okay, on the third floor, going on to the fourth floor, I believe. I think I counted right. Oh look, it's oh look, I see a Clefairy, a Berneri, a uh, person with a funky haircut. That's pink hair with pink hair, um, and a adult. What could this be? Let's go check it out. Let's talk to him first, though. What is this Team Galactic? Why do they take our Pokemon? Why are they trying to? What are they trying to accomplish? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. So I'm gonna put a stop to this. Or try to put a stop to this. Hey, did you? S okay, you could also talk to the Clefairy and Berneri, but I didn't because I forgot. My bad. But yeah, they're there. Hey, did you say something? How silly of me even to ask. You want to feed the Pokemon? Of course I do. You look like you're 
keeping them hostage or something. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna battle me. I thought you were like, I thought you were like gonna let them go. So, um, this is Team Galactic Commander Mars. She's one of the three commanders. Uh, we met Commander, uh, Team Galactic Commander Mars at the Valley One Works a little while back. Now we're meeting for the first time Team Galactic Commander Jupiter. And she starts off with a Zubat, level 18. Cool, um, yeah. Let's go for a water gun. Let's try to get that Zubat wet so it'll faint. Basically, this is what we're doing. <laughs> it's gonna just bite on us, okay. Let's use another. Well, innocent. Take it by all this child. Aw. You already. Your Zubat already bit Jetta, so. It's kinda too late for you to say that. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Not really. You didn't give me a warning. You're just being mean and hurting my Pokemon. Another water gun. Okay, cool. Let's get his bite again. Luckily, Jetta's faster than Zubat, so like Zubat doesn't use bite first before I get a try attack, or before Jetta gets the attack, or it may have a chance of flinching. But since Jetta's faster than the Zubat, which is kind of surprising because Zubat's kind of fast, you know. We get the upper hand. Okay, now she's gonna use wing attack. Oh man. Okay. So to finish off the Zubat, I'm gonna use quick attack, or Jetta's gonna use quick attack, I should say. And this should faint the Zubat. There we go. Yeah. Now Jetta is level 19. Awesome. And Mars about to use Skunk Tank. Okay. So Mars had Per Ugly. It was really easy because I had, could use Inferno's Mach Punch. But this time. Oh, this time. The big bag Skunk Tank is going to come out. Um, I'm going to keep. I'm going to start with Inferno, I guess. So I'm going to switch over to Inferno, I should say. So, yeah. This will be a real treat. I think this skunk tank is level, level 20, if I were to guess. I can't remember. Yeah, level 20, okay. So, evenly matched on level. So I'm going to try to use flame wheel and hopefully it can burn it so it cuts its attack, physical attack in half. That would be really nice. Even though I don't know if this thing has physical attacking moves or not. I'm not really sure. Smokes, I think it knows smoke screen, night slash, poison gas, and something else. I can't remember. If I were to guess. Yeah. It's gonna use the citrus berry, of course. Okay. Looks like we have the upper hand right now because we've been, you know. Oh, an ant screech, of course. That's the last move, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the last move. Yeah, um, we have the upper hand because she hasn't hit us yet, really, with a physical attacking move or a damaging move, I should say. So. Oh, uh, flame will miss. Ducky okay, probably because the sunscreen lord. Inferno's accuracy. And it gives the more screen again, of course, you know? That's really cool. Not really. <laughs> Not for us, at least. So flame will hits this time. It should put it in the yellows. Definitely, I think. Yeah. So a couple more flame wheels and it should be it should be good. Thanks. The good thing that Screech kinda missed, so it didn't lower Inferno's defense any more, you know? Although she hasn't really damaged Inferno yet. She's not using Night Slash for some reason. I think it's because Inferno's half fighting type and it's not very effective, but still, I mean, you should still do what you can, I guess. One more flame wheel should do this. I had a really easy time with the Skunk Tank. You usually have a really hard time with the Skunk Tank because it's very bulky and it has very good physical attack. That's why I wanted to try to burn it with Flame Wheel, you know? Inferno gets a lot of experience and almost leveled up. Nice. Losing to some child being careless cost me this or something. You, you wanna you, you have dialogue went too fast. Thanks for sixteen hundred pocket hours so. though. Well aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley One Works. We're pretty we're pretty much finished here. But I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. Why, with the power of mythical Pokemon, we, he will become a ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest that you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Oh man. Okay. It's like my last warning. I gotta keep that in mind. Not really. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, handed over. That logic buffles me still. It's like they're 
they are from space. <laughs> anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. So we have to make our way out of the building first, you know? But all the, the music goes back to the Turner City Gym. Not the Turner City Gym music, but the Turner City uh, music, which is really cool. I'll let you guys listen to it for a little bit. That's really good music. I really like it. It's very calming. Okay, I'm going to heal up real quick. So let me do that. Okay, I'm going to switch up my Pokemon. I'm going to switch Rose and Jetta. Even though they're both level 19. And we're going to go uh, west of Eternity City on Route 205 again. Because now that we have the move cut and we can use the outside battle, we can actually get down a few places. So I'm only going to show off to like, this one spot. Um, but there's like a lot of places you can use cut. Now that you, uh, you can cut down the trees now. Which is really nice. Back here leads to another honey tree, which is... Right there, well, I have to, I'll pick these berries first. It's more to the left is where the honey tree is. Two raspberries, cool, I'll pick them. Nice. Berries are always nice to have, so it's very worth picking them, you know? I skipped over one, dang it. Cherry berry again per, uh, heals paralysis of one Pokemon, so that's really cool. And here is a blockberry. I'm not really sure what raspberry and blockberries do. I could read the description, I'll do that like um after I'm done picking all these berries. Here's another orange berry, or two orange berries I should say, which is really nice. Heals two, uh, heals uh, 10 HP of one Pokemon. One heals 10 of HP of one Pokemon of your choice. And let's see, let's look at the descriptions for Raz and Blockberry real quick, just because I guess, I'm curious. Uh, raspberry, okay, it's a Poffin ingredient. Poffins we'll get to later. They're kind of like um, Pokeblocks. Like in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, kind of like that. You can feed them to Pokemon in like a certain Pokemon, like certain Poffins. Like, they, like for example, uh, a couple of points ago we learned that um, Karen likes sour food, it said in her um, summary, like Murkrow. So yeah, Blackberry is um, another Poffin ingredient. Um, soft soil will grow in Blackberry, of course. Or bury it in a soft soil and it grow a Blackberry. And the Poffin ingredient bury in a soft soil and grow Raspberry. Yeah, okay, so just the same thing except for playing, ex uh, except for um, placing the Raz with Buck and Buck with Raz, depending on which one you read first. Here's an item, I don't know what it is though, I can't remember. Silver Powder. What is Silver Powder again? Let me look at that up too. Okay, it's in our items pocket, I think though. Silver Power, um, an item that can be helped by Pokemon. It is shiny Silver Power that ups the power of Bug type moves. Oh, I don't have any Bug type moves really. <laughs> Dang it, I can't put that to good use though. I can't put it to good use, I mean. Okay, here's Team 82 Sleep Talk, which I think is a, a move, you use it in battle, and then um, if you're asleep, if your Pokemon's asleep, I don't even know if it works if you're awake, but preferably when you're asleep, you can use the Sleep Talk, and I'll use one of your random moves. You can't really choose which ran which one of the um, moves, but, and I shouldn't say it's random, it's one of your four moves that you have on your Pokemon, or three, three other moves, I should say, because Sleep Talk would be counting as one of your four moves. That making three moves that you have left. Um, I think this person may give you a miracle seed or something. Okay, no accessory. Are you collecting accessories? I'll give you give something for you. We got the big tree. Nice. I thought she would give us a miracle seed for some reason. I don't know why, but I was putting the fashion case. Here's another. Here's another honey tree, which just for fun I'm gonna show off. Me just slathering honey on this tree. I might come back to it later, but I might also forget. So. No promises. And if you get down this tree right here, um, yeah, you can, it'll lead you all the way back to in front of the Interna Forest, which is right here, and route, uh, the other part, first part of Route 205, which is really nice. So if you want to go back to Fulmer and Route My Town, and, um, actually I want to show, I'm curious to see what's there, because like, I know there was a tree you could cut there, so let me see if I can go back and get it real quick. And just, it might be a cool item or something, I don't remember. In fact, to avoid the tall grass, I'm going to go around and top up this ledge. Nice. There's another honey tree, as I pointed out before. And if we go over here, we're back in Fulmer Town now. Okay, cool. Um, I'm speaking away from my, I'm speaking not clearly, directly into my mic, so sorry if I was quiet there for a second. Uh, right here is a, 
Just please tell me there's an item. Please tell me there's a hidden item. I didn't come all the way back here just to be a fool, right? Don't tell me I'm a fool. Don't tell me I'm a fool, game. Oh, there's a trainer. Okay. It's, it's, I have a 40 type. Oh, yeah, use a 40 type. I'm asking you to make a point. I teach a po at the trainer school and I'd like to give you a lesson. Before I do, I'd like to you to have this TM. TM78, which is, I don't even know. I don't think I've ever talked to this person because I don't come back. And, um, yeah, you like the Pokemon that have genders like the ones males and females? Uh, well, the more competitive capitate only works against the opposite gender. For example, it only works when you used by a male Pokemon on a female. The more the move sharply lowers the target special attack and special attack for short. Or special attack for short. You always probably know this, but TM is only good for one use. Choose a Pokemon wisely if you decide to use it. If you do decide to use it. So we got that fall for a TM that I'm probably not going to use. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I never really picked it up before because I always skip out on that little area where you have to use cut. Dang it! Anyway, I'm gonna just get cut back all the way to Return of City. That was like a complete waste of my time, but I didn't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I was thinking about going to the meadow again, see if I can pick up some items, but I, I remember that's probably not till later, as far as I remember. So I'll see you guys back in Return of City. As you saw right there, um, Rose grew to level 20, which is pretty cool. So, other than that, I'm gonna switch to, um, Jedi again. Uh, so, all my main Pokemon, all my official party members are at level 20, except for Jedi. But that's okay. Jedi will get there. Again, I'll see you guys at, at, in Eternity City. Okay, so I'm here back in Eternity City. The last thing we're gonna do before this, I cut the part here, um, is I wanna go back to the bike shop and talk to the manager. Um, cause he told us to stop by the bike shop. Um, thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's our latest model, bicycle. You may take it. I insist. We get the bicycle, which is really cool. Yeah, it's a key item, item of course. Um, it's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift. Shift up or down. Like, there's different, like, shifts or gears, I should say. Um, of the bicycle that some make you a gear, certain gears make you go faster certain gears make you go slower Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um the third gear. Oh, yeah, it was called gears cool The third gear can't go all that fast, but it's easier to control very worth noting uh, In the fourth gear, it's harder to steer and stop, but it's fast Cool, so what happened to the second and first gear then? <laughs> Here's a very Papai. <laughs> it looks like it's saying it's it looks like it's saying Papai. Just by the text box. Here's the Yanks dude again. Um, but what were Team Galactic trying to do with other people's Pokemon? Use it for evil or energy sources or something. Something evil. So, um, if you go to your key items pocket. And, uh, you can actually Y select or Y set the um, bicycle. So, I'm going to do that now. So, that way, when I press Y, I can just automatically get on my bicycle and stuff. And I press Y again to get off. But the bicycle music is really cool and it's really nice to hear. I'll let you guys listen to it. Yeah, I really like the bicycle music. It's really nice. Um, yeah, but we're going to cut the part right here. Well, I guess I can go in here, I guess. But yeah, um, I'm going to cut the part right here. So this has been Jaco again. Uh, this has been the uh, Pokemon Diamond We Do Walkthrough Guide part. Next part we'll take on, looks like um, some kind of road or something. That's why we got the bicycle, it's Cycling Road. So this has been Jaco again. I really thank you for watching again, goodbye, and I'll just see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond We Do Walkthrough Guide.